So welcome everyone. Today's guided meditation is going to be a little meditation on the pagan ceremony of Samhain, which celebrates uh, this time of year, the end of October, um, which is usually when uh, we tend to honor our ancestors and those who have passed. Start by getting yourself into a comfortable position in a peaceful place of your home, if possible, one that is quiet, where you will not be disturbed for a certain period of time. Perhaps you can close the blinds to darken the room a bit if that's what feels nice. Or if you're by a window and you feel sunlight on your face and that is right for you, then you can do that as well. Let your eyes drift gently shut if it feels natural, and begin to deepen your breath. As you breathe in, really focus on the air as it travels through you, making its way through your nose into your lungs, filling you up inside. And as you breathe out through your nose or your mouth, let anything that has been hanging around in your body, go, blow it all out. Again, breathing in fully, deeply, completely, feeling that sustenance, life-giving air enter your body and as it is temporary, like all things, let it go with a smile as it leaves before you take your next breath in again to start the process all over again. At this time of year, with the coming of Samhain, your little parts of the world seem to transition abruptly into late autumn, with the sense of deeper winter on the way. It stands ready at the threshold, just waiting for nature's invitation to cross. There is more than just a delicious chill in the air. Now the wind has bite and the promise of the coming winter's stinging coldness driving it. There may be a breath of ice and frost dancing on the windows, on the bushes, on the brittle grass in early mornings, and the slightest smell of nature's decay as the soil hardens and leaves prepare to plummet to the ground in preparation for winter. There truly is tremendous beauty to this season. It is a sad beauty though, powerful, moving, but tinged with just a touch of the taste of loss. It's a beauty that highlights the transitory nature of things and somehow that very sense of pending loss enhances loveliness of this time. Truly, let us praise the universe of dappled things.
Bowen heralds in the season of grace. As the earth grows colder, entering into its dying time, turning within, we too are given the opportunity to look within. We are given the chance to attend to ourselves and to the dusty, unexamined parts of our lives. Samhain heralds in a terrifying season where we are asked to radically embrace loss, to willingly and moreover actively journey within into the labyrinthine passages of our hearts and our minds and souls. We're asked to journey into memory and to sweep out those hidden internal corners all those things that no longer serve us, our spirituality, or our lives at large. Here, we are given a chance to take stock and to reevaluate. We are challenged to remember our successes, but more importantly, our losses, our failures those moments of grief and shame. These things too are building blocks and guides, sometimes more, much more powerful than those crafted from more pleasant experiences. More importantly, we are asked to rejoice, to give thanks for the blessings that have fallen, often unexpectedly, into our hands throughout the previous month. So deepen your breath and take a moment to turn inward. Taking some time to focus within Pay attention to your body. Notice if there is anything you've been clinging to or overthinking, anything causing tension, and examine it. Observe it and remember that it has no power. Samhain is about the memory of things long past and long gone. Loss has value. Loss teaches us what we have and what's important. It reminds us to recognize and treasure the smallest of blessings in our lives. It brings perspective. Samhain is a time when Above all else, we are asked to honor loss. Many believe that during this time of year, the dead walk among us, watching over us, 
guiding us, suffering as we suffer, celebrating as we rejoice. While our ancestors may always be with us, there is something special about this time. Perhaps it is that with the world withering in beauty all around us, it is easier to put ourselves in a place where we can consciously touch them. So let us take a moment to remember them now, their names, their stories, their struggles and sacrifices. Let us carry their graves on our backs, in our hearts and minds, in our memories. We are here because of them. We are their legacy, generation after generation of human brutality, suffering, indifference, and loss. And we are here, generation after generation of human celebration, courage, integrity, and hope. And we are here. Let us think of them. Let us remember their names, their stories. Let us now imbibe their sorrows and their joys. We are their living trust. In this, we are connected to the flow of experience, greater and older and bigger than we shall ever be in these forms. In this, we stand as one with our dead, one with their strength, wisdom, and the flow of experience. In this, we take our place in a line of blood, bone, sinew, and power, stretching back to the beginning of time. In this, they live again, and their sufferings have the power to transform our world, our lives, our culture, our time. Give them that voice. At Samhain, we are reminded that to neglect our honoring of the dead is to stifle their voices, smother their stories, invalidate the tangled tapestries of their lives. It is to commit a crime against memory, piety, and honor. We are called upon to celebrate them always, but on this single time of year, let us lay ourselves down on the body of the earth and pour our tears out in offering 
the greatest wealth to be found in the land of the dead after remembrance. Let us remember and let us bless that remembrance with our own. Samhain is a season of terror, of loss, of painful gratitude, but also of potential renewal and reawakening. We carry the hopes of all our long line of those who have passed into our own futures, futures that we have the power and potential to craft and weave each moment of every day. That is the final grace of this season, a call to action, to mindful reverence, to living awake, aware, and connected to all that was and all that we have the potential to be. So give thanks. Above all else on this day, give thanks. It is a small thing, but sometimes the smallest of gifts is enough. Now, as we close this meditation, slowly start to bring yourself back to this space and time. Let go of the conscious breath, but keep that same peace within you. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. 
and take in what is in front of you and around you.